Leadership is unlocking people's potential to become better. We have amongst us the president of Sindhi Seva Samiti, Sri Sanjeev Atmaram. I request you, sir, to deliver the presidential address on this occasion. Namaskara, Shubhu Shukravara. So before I begin, I have a grievance against our Dean, Dr. Gopinath. After such distinguished speakers have spoken, including the Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Rajdeep Panwani, our key panelist, Dr. Samir Sagalkar, he has very uh, aptly nominated it as a presidential address, but I don't see much to address. Sir, next time, please pardon me, in a lighter vein, after such, uh, hearing such eminent speakers, my contribution may not be very much, but having taken this enviable task, I will definitely try to live up to your expectations. So all that was in a lighter win. Please don't take me seriously. Respect the chief guest of the conference, Dr. Rajdeep Manwani, distinguished keynote speaker, Dr. Samit Kagalkar, eminent panelists, my colleague office bearers, members of the board of management, Dean of Sindhi Institute of Management, Dr. Professor Gopinath, faculty of Sindhi Institute of Management, executives of the Sindhi Degree College and Sindhi PU College, and above all, my dear Sindhians, it is indeed an honor and privilege to address such an august and learned gathering on this momentous occasion. On behalf of the Sindhi Seva Samiti and the Sindhi Institute of Management, I extend a warm welcome to each of you present here. <clears throat> it will be relevant to throw some light on the history of our Sindhi Seva Samiti, under whose banner we have nine educational institutions. Our Sindhi community was one of the most affected during the partition. On the occasion of our independence in 1947, our forefathers had to leave Sindh, then under undivided India, and migrated to partition India, homeless, stateless, and in financial despair. Nevertheless, we regrouped ourselves, established our base, and we decided to give back to society and formed the Sindhi Seva Samiti within nine years of partition in the year 1956. We went to form various educational institutions as we firmly believed granting knowledge is the only way to transform the nation. Our first educational institution was the Sindhi High School at Kumarakupa Road. It was started in, the, in June 1982. It is a matter of pride for every Sindhian that the Sindhi High School Kumarakupa Road has completed 40 glorious years of service since its inception. Hundred percent fast uh, hundred percent first class results are the norm year on year. Our next institution is the Sindhi High School Hebal, where we all seated in the campus. This is an educational institution designed to provide exemplary learning space and environment. This was established on 9th June 2003 under the aegis of the Sindhi Seva Samiti and was inaugurated by Dr. Azoy, Dr. Sorry, by L.K. Adwani, the then Deputy Prime Minister of India, and it was a great honor and prestige to have a, such a distinguished dignitary coming all the way to Delhi to inaugurate our campus. The school has become a benchmark to measure academic, co-curricular, and extracurricular excellence with an objective of providing quality education at an affordable price. Our next venture was the Sindhi PU College at Tanisandra, which was started in 1994, and a new building at Tanisandra campus was dedicated to the community as part of its, the Silver Jubilee celebrations of the college. Sindhi College offers various streams of science, maths and arts, and uh, commerce. Ugadi Festival marked an euphoric beginning for the Sindhi community at Bangalore, 3rd April 2022, an epoch-making day witnessed Sri Tawarchand Gelot, Honorable Governor of Karnataka, inaugurating the sprawling campus at Tanisandra, Bangalore. 
The icing on the cake was the presence of the only Sindhi member of parliament, Sri Shankar Lalwani from Indore as the guest of honor. Sir, this is a matter of pride, sir, that we had a MP from our own community representing us there. The next institute was the Sindhi Seva School and Academy of Skills. This commenced its operation in 2008 to serve the society better. The school prepares students to appear for class 10 examinations under the National Institute of Open Schooling, NIOS. The NIOS board carries weightage equal to the CBSE and ICC boards in admission to professional courses under CET, JE, NEET, to name a few. It gives us immense pleasure to state that over a period of 15 years, 1,200 students have successfully passed the NIOS secondary board exams. Our next institute is the Sindhi Degree College, again in the same campus which we are seated in today, established in 2002. It has maintained the highest academic standards and pioneered some of the best practices in higher education in line with its motto, service to humankind. The college continues to keep its commitment to humanity and uphold an unflinching adherence to human values. Our next institute, the Sindhi Institute of Management, provides globally recognized Master of Business Administration to students. The college also offers diploma programs, PGDM and PGPM, along with certification and, va and value added programs. Apart from the above institutions, where we have 6,000 plus students, the Samiti is into varied philanthropic activities such as granting scholarships. 2.4 crores were granted to 1,009 students in the previous academic year, promoting the, kinds of, uh, promoting the cause of eye donation, needy family welfare, matchmaking, to name a few. During COVID times, we undertook various health initiatives such as vaccination drives to over 50,000 beneficiaries, oxygen concentrators, home cooked food was sent to the COVID affected patients irrespective of caste, creed, and religion. This, in a nutshell, covers the journey of 65 years. I, in a matter of a few minutes, I have tried to do justice and not bore you. There's much more in store, but keeping the limitation of time, I will not delve further. Now coming to the conference aptly titled as Strategic Advances and Development in Commerce and Management for Sustainable Future Business. I think this is just the right topic looking into the current position of the country. Having just completed the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, we are in looking into the Amrit Kaal for the next 25 years. As Mr. rightly mentioned, we are strategizing ourselves to be fully Atma Nirbhar Bharat, and also keeping this in mind that the needs of the country will have to be met as far as possible by our own selves and in-house and not outsourcing as we have been in the, doing in the past. We need to focus on many areas so that our youth get all the benefits of a developed Bharat. For that, we need a very disciplined approach in every area like finance, advanced technology, health care, energy needs, that to non-fossil fuel and food for all, to name a few. Every one will have a role to play in this, especially the young minds like the students seated in front of me who need to get the maximum benefits of the new education policy, work smart, waste less time and resources. There will be a lot of challenges, but development is the need of the hour. I'm sure a lot of such points will get deliberated in this conference with a view on taking the nation forward. I'm indeed very happy to hear that our chief guest, Dr. Rajdeep Mandani, and do express my gratitude to Dr. Samir Kagalkar, convener of the Economic Cell Government of Karnataka, for his excellent views about the nation and about the in-depth analysis which he gave us and about the conference in particular. My best wishes to the participants and the paper presenters that, the, that their futuristic views may be better, may for better research and pave the way for better research. I feel proud that our team of management faculty have been able to bring out a research journal, Aveshan. I wish them good luck and ask them to continue the, doing their good work in the future and non-stop after the conference is over too, sir. My best wishes to one and all. Jai Hind, Jai Karnataka. Thank you for a patient hearing.
Thank you, sir. To continue with the proceedings of the inaugural program, now we have the inaugural launch of a quarterly research journal, Unvation. I request our Honorable President of Sindhi Seva Samiti, Sri Sanjeev Atmaram, to release the journal. I also request the dignitaries to kindly join in this endeavor. I declare the new research journal called Avation Open. It's an e-journal, so all of us will be saving the environment and a lot of paper, and so we have opted for this approach. Kudos to the management. It's the official release of the in-house research journal. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Things that have begun well must end well. We have come to the concluding part of the inaugural program. I request CMA Gurudath Conference Convener to propose out of thanks and also brief on the proceedings of the two-day international conference to the gathering. Over to you, sir. First of all, let me thank our president for his high scintillating inspiration words, bringing glory to this occasion, marveling release, opening of our unveiling, setting more responsibility for us to research. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose out of thanks on this memorable occasion. Let me thank, first of all, by giving glory to the Almighty Lord for making today's occasion a resounding success. First and foremost, I thank our special guest, Dr. Samir Kagalkar, sir, convener, economic cell, government of Karnataka, for deliberating his keynote address on this occasion, who, despite his busy schedule, has found time to grace this occasion. Your inspiring thought of words has definitely added luster to this event. May I take this opportunity to invite our President Sri Sanjeev Atmaramji, President Sindhi Seva Samiti, to hand over the momentum to our distinguished guest, Dr. Samir Kagalkar, sir. Our very big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And I also express my heartfelt thanks to our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Rajdeep Manwani, Professor and Director of Academic Research, Sindhi College, May I take this opportunity to invite our director, uh, our president, to honor our chief guest with the memento on this occasion. My heartfelt thanks to the principal heads of various departments and the faculty for the valuable contribution, guidance, and encouragement in all of our efforts. I owe a special gratitude to the non-teaching staff who have worked hard to ensure that this occasion becomes a memorable success. I thank all the distinguished invitees present here accepting our invitation. I thank the members of the media for evidencing the interest in covering the event and all good hearts who work it behind the screen. Last but not the least, I thank you, my friends, for your cooperation in making this inaugural function a resounding success. Once again, I thank all of you for your attention. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to brief you the highlights, today we are having a technical session immediately after the lunch. Uh, we are having a technical session one uh, with technological intervention in taxation. 
superseded by the great uh, Six and Secure CMA, Mr. Ravindranath Kaushik, who is a cost account and tax consultant. And we are also having uh, another technological intervention in cybersecurity by renowned uh, Secure, Mr. M.G. Kodan Ramsa. And tomorrow of a technical session, we are having another scintillating two technical session, one uh, technological intervention in agriculture, then technological intervention manufacturing industry. Please make this valuable contribution with added lust of the panel discussion headed by our uh, dynamic leader, uh, Professor Gopinath sir. And apart from that, we're also having validity tree which has been scheduled uh, at 3.40 to 5 p.m. So I request all the presenters to make themselves valuable uh, their time by presenting their papers at the end till this arena of the research demands more hunger and lust. I, the conference Simircon coordinator, hereby declare this Simircon 2023 International Research Conference begin. I request the audience to rise for the national anthem. <laughs> Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Uttkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uttchal, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Maage,